Welcome to the Story of Liberty. It was in late February 1791 when John Wesley wrote a letter to William Wilberforce commending him for opposing and denouncing slavery in England. William Wilberforce was a very wise and pleasant man. He would delight his friends with both his oratory and conversational powers. In 1797, William startled his contemporaries by producing a book contrasting the commonly prevailing view of Christianity at that time with real Christianity. In Parliament, he was the MP for Yorkshire, and he had great influence even over men who did not share his religious views. It was he who led the battle against slavery and the slave trade in Britain's empire. William was strikingly converted at the age of 25, it was said, and he spent his life chiefly in the political arena, and he maintained an unblemished Christian walk for about 50 years. As I said, his chief efforts were directed to ending the infamous slave trade and slavery in the British Empire, and he achieved that. It actually caused him to die a happy man. It's been said that few men have achieved more for the benefit of mankind than William Wilberforce.